abstract class contains both definition and implementation but cannot be instantiated. Use the abstract addition in the class statement to create an abstract class. Superclasses are a typical use for abstract classes as they are not to be instantiated themselves but their subclasses are. In an abstract class, you can define abstract methods among other things. This means that the abstract method cannot be implemented in that class. Instead, it is implemented in a subclass of the class. If the subclass of that class is not abstract, the abstract methods must be redefined and implemented in the subclass for the first time. The relevant indicator is in the class builder on the attributes tab for that class or method. References to such abstract classes can be used for polymorphic access to subclass instances. Static methods cannot be abstract because they cannot be redefined. Prevent a class from being inherited by using the final addition with the class statement. You can prevent a method from being redefined by using the final addition with the methods statement. The relevant indicator is in the class builder on the attributes tab for that class or method. Thus, all methods of a final class are implicitly final. You may not repeat the final addition in the methods themselves. Classes that are abstract and final should only contain static components. Object references can be stored in internal tables. The example in the figure explains how to retrieve a specific object from such a list. The object reference is stored in the table along with some key information. In the example, the key information is the make and model of the vehicle. The object reference can easily be retrieved through this key information. This technique implies a redundant storage of information as the key values are already stored in attributes of the object. As shown in the figure, the key information redundancy can be avoided by making the key attributes public. Public attributes can be used directly in the statements to access internal tables like read table and loop at. The expression TABE underscore line used here is a built-in part of the RBARP language. When the line type of an internal table is an elementary data type instead of a structured type, you need to use table underscore line. Such internal tables have just one unnamed column. Table underscore line is used as the generic column name for this single column. Hint, it is against the fundamental principles of object-oriented programming to make attributes public. Unfortunately, RBARP does not allow you to use functional methods like the methods in our example get underscore make, get underscore model, and so on on the left-hand side of where clauses and with key additions. Therefore, public attributes are only used in some special cases in read-only mode. Associations like aggregations and compositions are an important design principle of object-oriented programming. An association means that at runtime, an instance of one class stores references to objects of another class. Classes that have other classes associated with them often come with methods that return one of the stored references to the caller. Such methods are often called navigation methods, as they can be used to navigate from one object to another. In the example, the LCL underscore vehicle class is associated with the LCL underscore rental class. Class LCL underscore rental provides the navigation method get underscore vehicle. Often, the purpose of navigating from one object to another is to access a single method of this other object. Before the release of SAP NetWeaver 7.0 EHP2, it was mandatory to first store the reference to the new object in a reference variable. 
As of SAP NetWeaver 7.0 EHP2, we can chain method calls, that is, we can directly call a method of the object that the navigation method returns. Hint, this technique is not restricted to the chaining of two methods. In more complicated object models, it is possible to chain any number of methods. In ABAP objects, we can restrict the visibility of the instance constructor. If the visibility of the instance constructor is restricted, the create object statements to instantiate this class is only allowed in certain parts of the coding. Types of visibilities for the instance constructor as follows. Private. If a class has a private instance constructor, it can only be instantiated from within the class itself, typically in static methods defined for that purpose. These methods are sometimes called factor methods. Protected. If the instance constructor is protected, the visibility is extended to all of its subclasses. That is, the subclasses can also create instances of the class. Public. A public instance constructor is the default visibility setting. Instances of the class can be created anywhere, inside the class itself, inside other classes, or even in a non object oriented part of the program. For example, the main program. Set the visibility by using the create addition with the class statement. The relevant indicator is in the class builder on the attributes tab for the relevant class. Hint, the visibility of the constructor is not set by placing the definition of the method in the respective section of the class definition. In fact, before SAP NetWeaver 7.0, it was mandatory to place the constructor syntactically in the public section. Since SAP NetWeaver 7.0, it is allowed but not required to place the constructor in the protected or private section. If this is not more restrictive than the create addition in the class definition, this is to increase the readability of the coding. Restricting the visibility of the instance constructor only makes sense if somewhere within the class or its subclasses, in case of create protected, the instantiation is done. Often such classes provide a public static method that creates an instance of this class and returns the reference to this instance to the caller. Such methods are sometimes called factory methods. Factory methods are executed when an instance of the class is created and have some advantages as compared to the instance constructor. The example illustrates a class with a factory method and using a static attribute to reference all its instances. The instantiation is restricted to the class and is only done in static method factory. When the method is called, the factory method checks whether an identical instance has already been created. If so, it returns the existing instance instead of creating a new one. Hint, in this example, it is not necessary to make attributes public for the read table statement. As the factory method lies within the class, it has full access to all private attributes.
Use the singleton concept to prevent a class from being instantiated more than once for the same program context. There are various different ways to implement a singleton class. The first singleton pattern is a special case of the factory concept. Instead of storing several instances, the class stores only one instance. When the factory method get underscore instance is called for the first time, it instantiates the class. For every subsequent call, it returns the reference to the existing object. The class uses its static constructor to create the single instance in advance. The get underscore instance method does not create the instance but only returns a reference to the already existing instance. Hint, in a third variant of the singleton pattern, the go underscore instance static attribute is made public and read only. The get underscore instance method is not required. In some cases, classes have to work together so closely that one class needs access to the other class's protected and private components. Similarly, one class might need to be able to create instances of the other class regardless of the visibility of the constructor. To avoid making these options available to all users of the class, use the concept of class friendship. A class can grant friendship to other classes and interfaces, and hence, to all classes that implement the interface. To create friendship, use the friends edition of the class statement or the friends tab in the class builder. All classes and interfaces to which friendship is granted are listed there. Granting friendship is one direction. A class granting friendship is not automatically a friend of the class's friends. If a class granting friendship wants to access the non public components of a friend, this friend must also explicitly grant friendship to it. A typical application of the friends concept is the definition of a factory class. Like the factory method, a factory class creates and administrates the instances of a class. By outsourcing the administration to a dedicated class, the class itself is kept smaller and easier to understand. In the example, LCL underscore factory serves as a factory class for airplanes. LCL underscore factory class provides a public method create underscore airplane in which create underscore airplane either instantiates class LCL underscore airplane or returns a reference to an already existing instance. To restrict the instantiation, class LCL underscore airplane is defined with addition. Create private. By adding friends LCL underscore factory, the friendship allows the factory class and only the factory class to create airplane instances and to access the private attributes. Hint, another advantage of the dedicated factory class is that if the class has subclasses, the decision on which of the classes should be instantiated could be done inside the factory class rather than by the calling program. In the example, the create underscore airplane method could create and return an instance of either LCL underscore cargo underscore plane or LCL underscore passenger underscore plane depending on the plane type. Conversely, 
Granting friendship is not inherited. A friend of a superclass is therefore not automatically a friend of its subclasses.